I'm Jane Carter. For the last 25 years, much of my work has been tuberculosis, first running the state TB clinic here, and then doing some international work. Jane does everything. I don't know how she does it. She will fly in from Kenya and be in clinic the next morning. She travels constantly. I get tired just looking at her. She's the president of the union. She has all of these projects in Kenya. She's a clinician here. She's provided care for thousands and thousands of patients. I don't know that there's many people that you can point to and say that person is directly responsible for a very large amount of alleviation of human suffering. And Jane is one of those people. I've always been just the most excited about is actually building programs. And I think it's really sort of funny because I think sometimes people think you need big ideas. But I usually say you just sort of need to walk the walk. Why do we care about tuberculosis anymore? As people tell me, this is a dead disease, what are you talking about? But in fact, tuberculosis is still the most common infectious disease in the world today, which is actually a public health shame. When you consider that we've had a curative regimen for tu tuberculosis for over 50 years that costs less than $10. She has mentored many, many successful physicians through a very primary stage of their education and careers through a tertiary level of contribution to science and medical care delivery. You see a uh, passion that oozes from, my, from, from this lady, you see dedication, you see persistence, and you see commitment. When I think of sort of accomplishments, I think of sort of a lot of different patient vignettes. One night I was actually uh, doing some work at, in Kericho, Kenya, and what we were doing is initiating rapid HIV testing in the TB clinic and I was walking back to where I was staying and I heard these footsteps running behind me. And I turned around and the last woman who was there came running up and gave me this gigantic hug and said, I'm negative, I'm negative. We always thought everyone with tuberculosis had AIDS and that's why nobody comes in, but they've decided to wait and I'm running to get my husband and he's gonna come back and be tested too. And she's crying and I'm crying. And I think it's some of the stories like that that I think of as really sort of um, accomplishments. It's really all the little vignettes of things like that that have happened sort of during my life that really I think are the most important. I'm just very lucky because I can think I could probably sit here for the next hour and tell you one after another after another. Jane has been at the union for a number of years, and when we instituted the lifetime membership, she was, I think, the first one to write a check. So she's always been involved in, in all the different ways that you can, especially in a technical aspect. I have never gone to a union conference in which Jane is not participating. And it's not just a question of participating as now the president of the union, but she would also have uh, uh, youngsters from wherever she's working in low-income countries presenting papers, so there would be posters and what have you. So she's fully engaged. Back when I was the, just starting my TB career and went to what turned out to be the first uh, North American region meeting and sort of found my home that way. And I think the biggest honor of my career was, was ever to be chosen by my board members to be the president. Jane has been uh, a good friend personally and she's also been a good friend of the union. It's, it's, her heart is in it. She wants it to, to grow, she wants it to do better, she wants it to, it to be a, a driving force in the uh, world of lung health. She always has the uh, members of the union in mind. I think that's, what, that's one of the driving things about what she, what she feels like makes the union strong. We are a diverse community <coughs> made up of patients, physicians, researchers, caregivers, educators, and so many more. We each bring our talents to finding the solution that will ease pain, reduce suffering, eliminate the disease. Together we are stronger, together we will triumph. As a community, we say yes we can. Someplace every day, there is a union person 
who actually could come up with one of those vignettes of how they touched somebody's life that day. And uh, I think that's what the union is, and I think that's uh, why we're important.